Hey guys, Chaps here, and recently I've had a few people asking me about a tool I made a while back. As the title suggests, it's a horde skill progress tracker. I actually haven't published this or made a video about it yet, so I figured it's probably about time. As a bonus, near the end of this video I'll discuss some tips and tricks for maxing out a class for that classy achievement, so be sure to stick around for that. As always, a link to the tool will be in the description, as well as on the TACOM website. As a quick plug, I highly suggest you check out the website if you haven't already. Not only do we have all of our videos cataloged there, but we've got easter egg guides and helpful fan-made tools, like this one, and much more. Okay, so what exactly is this tool? As you can see, I've got every skill laid out with a spot for you to input how many you have. For example, let's look at the Siphon card. As seen, it's currently level 2, with one extra card. If I were to get another card, I'd simply update it like this. You can see this last column changed from 22200 down to 21600. This is the total amount of scrap needed to max out this card. Speaking of which, down here you can see how much it's going to take you to max out the entire class. Jumping over to the engineer, you can see that I've got zero scrap left to spend, as I've maxed out all of the cards. Some of you may be questioning the order of the cards in the list. Well, this order doesn't match up in-game, but it matches up with the Gears of War website. I don't know why the website and the game have different orders, but they do. So I find it easiest just to scroll down through the cards on the list on the website and update the tool every once in a while. Now that we've covered all of this about the inputs, let's hop back over to the sheet. On this right side, I've got a few things that some of you may find interesting. To start with is a short summary of the classes, how much you have left to spend for each, how much it would cost if you had nothing, and your completion percentage. Well, the percentage is a completion on a scrap-based perspective, not a card-based. I actually have most of my stuff maxed, but I'm only at 59% completion, because those stupid purple cards are extremely expensive as you guys know. This leads us to the next part of the page. Here you can see the scrap requirement for each type of card, and how many cards it will take to max out a certain level. For example, if you have a level 4 blue card, it will take you 10 cards to hit level 5, and each one of those will cost you 100 scrap. The last part of this page is probably pretty self-explanatory. It's a simple breakdown of how many cards of each rarity you have left to unlock, as well as the associated scrap value. Yeah, those purples aren't going to be fun. The last thing to discuss before getting into some tips for the achievement is how you all can access and use this tool. As I said before, the link is going to be in the description and on our website, but it can be sort of annoying toying with these tools on Google Docs when multiple people are trying to use it at once. What I suggest doing is going to File, Download As, and selecting Microsoft Excel. That is, assuming you have Microsoft Excel on your computer. It will then be fully editable on your computer, and you don't need to worry about others messing with it. The other option is go to File, and Add to My Drive. In this case, the file will be saved to your Google Drive, and you can mess with it, share it, do whatever you want, and you can block it off so no one else can use it. Again, you're free to mess with it in the link that I provided, but there's nothing stopping multiple people from editing it at once. And that pretty much covers it for the tool. So now, how about some tips for getting that classy achievement? Well, it's probably no surprise that my first tip is to download this Excel sheet and fill it out. What a lot of people do at this point is say, okay, it looks like the sniper is my best bet, I'll start buying all those cards. Well, personally, I don't think that's the best approach. My suggestion would be to keep purchasing packs and scrapping duplicates. This can be the featured community packs that TC puts out, or even just the horde boosters. As a side note, Horde Boosters have the highest scrap per credit spent, and are on par with Operations Packs as far as blue and purple chances per credit. You may not get as many blue or purple cards as quickly from Horde Boosters, but because they're so much cheaper, the cost kind of balances it out. So in turn, you're getting more scrap, and have the same chance of getting those cards you need. So really, I just purchased the Horde Boosters, and if I want the character for that month, I purchased the Community Pack. You're just going to keep doing this and scrapping the duplicates. Once you've saved up enough scrap to completely max out a class, then and only then would I recommend starting to purchase and upgrade cards. The reason I say wait until this point is that things can easily shift as you're opening packs. For some, the sniper may be closest to maxing, but by the time you have enough scrap, you may realize that the engineer is now actually the closest. You're going to be unlocking a lot of skill cards by purchasing packs, and the purple ones cost so much that just depending on which purple cards you get, it can really easily shift which one is closest to maxing. So yeah, just follow those easy steps and you should eventually get that nice bleep bloop noise coming through your speakers. 
For those wondering how to get credits fast, it's boring, but just do horde speedruns. I don't really talk about those much on this channel, but there's plenty of groups out there willing to show you the ropes if you want to give it a try. Hopefully you all found this video helpful, and if you do, be sure to drop it a like and subscribe for more content. If you have any ideas for future tools you'd like to see, comment down below or message us on Twitter, and I'll see what I can do. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll catch you next time. Thank <laughs> you.